Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for not another teen movie. And this is the unrated director's cut or something like that. Yeah, unrated extended director's cut. Now, um, this is a parody movie, um, or a movie made to parody all these teen films like Pretty in Pink, um, Sixteen Candles, um, The Breakfast Club, you know. All these, you know teenage movies, you know, where they're in school and there's all that kind of stuff. I think that probably also reminded me a lot of Porky's. Um, I do have all three of the Porky's movies, and I do want to do a review of those eventually. I just I just need to watch them again. Um, this movie was from 2001, and I have to say it kind of shows. There were some tropes that don't really translate too well for 2020, which is um, 20 years later. Um, Chris Evans was actually in this movie, um, but he was only like 20. I mean, which is kind of fascinating because I really didn't know much about Chris Evans prior to him becoming Captain America, you know. I, I believe he was like the Human Torch in like um, the Fantastic Four movies, and it's unfortunate those turned out the way they did. But anyways... So this had um, Chris Evans in it. Um, also had Jamie Presley, Mia Kirshner, Randy Quaid, you know. And, I mean, it is a parody movie, so, um, yeah. It was also... Let's just say it was, it was a 2000 movie. Um, and a lot of the movies from back then were a little bit... A little bit raunchy, we'll say. And that isn't really inherently bad, to be honest. Um, the movie was meant and designed to be offensive in some parts. Um, and to have gross-out humor and stuff like that, because that's basically one of the staples of you know teen movies. Um, I thought that in the movie's defense, that all the parts were well acted, um, very well acted, actually. Um, really, really interesting. Um, it is rated R, I believe. No, it's unrated, actually. Wow. Yeah, okay, it does say unrated, oh, uncensored, and um, yeah. Yeah, anyways, so yeah. Also, um, it has a bunch of stars in there before they were stars, so that's kind of interesting, too. Um, basically, um, overall, I rather enjoyed the movie for the sheer parody of it. It was really, really good, I thought. Um, but basically, from the standpoint of parody... Um, and as a standalone movie, it worked out. It works pretty good. Um, it, it was, to me, really, it was fascinating to see the actors. Um, it also had the um, the big guy from um, Varsity Blues. I haven't actually seen that movie, Varsity Blues. But um, I don't remember what his name was. Sorry. Um... Okay, it doesn't even say on the back. But um, if you have seen Varsity Blues, then you'll know there is this, um, you know, stereotypical Billy Bob character, you know, this Texan, um, who has a pet pig and stuff like that. Really, really, a really neat character, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, I really thought the movie was well made as a parody, of course. Um, I want to give props to, um, you know, where they're due. Um, really, really fascinating. But anyways, one thing that is really interesting is, um, good times. Okay. Anyway, I just felt that, um, all the parts were well, were well acted. Um, granted, even Molly Ringwald will was in it, um, as a, um, not, uh, as, I believe that she was a flight attendant or something, 
I think that's what you call the people that work the desk at the airport. I see I don't really go use airplanes very often, so I don't know what those are called. But um, I believe she, she was a flight attendant, Molly Ringwald, you know, near the end. And so it was really nice to have a cameo from her. Um, There's also a cameo in here by Mr. T, which was really, really fascinating. Um, but yeah, anyways, the... Overall, I, I would give the movie high marks. Um, this is an unrated movie, meaning very explicit. Well, to a certain extent. Um, the extent of it is basically for... I believe the language was mainly the problem. Plus, there is a um, foreign exchange student in there. A female foreign exchange student in there that basically runs around naked, but all you do is you just see her, you know, you just see her breasts, um, and maybe the back view, stuff like that. Um, but there is a lot of the dialogue that would be considered explicit. Um, I would say that it's kind of tame compared to some of the movies we have these days, actually, which is kind of shocking, but yeah. So yeah, um, it's kind of reminded me also of um, Freddy Got Fingered, I believe, because of the... There, there's some gross-out humor in here, which is... But there's also some really good stuff in here. So there's some... there. Are, there's This was a pretty good movie. I'm um, glad I watched it. I think we got it for a dollar at some thrift store. So we weren't re really out any money much. But anyways... Not, not bad for a 2001 movie. Also, um, if you're into it, um, you know how Chris Evans says that um, he's, um, you know, America's butt, basically. And you actually see his butt in this movie. Um, back view. And so, yeah. If you're curious about that, then check out this movie. But anyways, um, I'm going to leave all that that here. Um, Chris Evans has been in all kinds of movies. He was even in Knives Out, I believe. And um, I'm trying to think of what else he was in besides the Marvel movies. But um, yeah. Overall, it was a really, really good movie. Um, really old movie, actually. Uh, it's hard to believe it's 21 years old. But anyways... With all that being said, um, we're going to, um, I'm going to end the video here, I believe. I highly recommend the movie. It was, if you're old enough to watch an unrated movie, I'm not sure how unrated ranks, you know, it goes like R, then NC-17, then maybe unrated. I don't know. But um, I'm not exactly sure how that exactly works, but you probably need to be an adult to know actually enjoy this movie but anyways um it's kind of an oldie but goodie but anyways with all that being said um if you like this content make sure you like and subscribe ring the bell so you know when i upload also if, we, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the discord server all that information will be in the description below if you want to suggest a movie for me to watch and do a review of then just drop that down in the comments and i will see that and watch the movie and do a review of it and if it's a movie that i've already done a review of and haven't posted yet to my channel, then I'll just tell you. But anyways, thanks again for watching everyone and have a great day.